What's going on, y'all? It's Eat With Pastor Black One. This is what we have here today. We have spinach, scrambled eggs, cheese, my favorite egg waffles, some water. Everything's going to be in the description box also. Ladies, I am back on OnlyFans doing my grown man business. You guys need to not miss out on that. We want to get the show on the road. Amen. I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. I am having an amazing start of my day. Mm. This is what I needed. This is what I really needed. How can you not start your day with some eggs and some waffles and spinach? Did you not? Trust me, you don't need syrup on this. It's just right without syrup. I swear to you. Mm. So priceless. <laughs> ah, right here, yes. You need some water to hydrate your skin. Feel me? This is the reason why I drink some water or I have some sparkling water, but prefer to have this type of water than sparkling water. Keep your skin looking good. Also, having the right amount of protein, the eggs, the spinach, Nice little carbs on the side. You can't lose. Mm. Um, wow, boy, I'm smacking this down. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being greedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm being super greedy, but I need to because I need to put all this good stuff in this body so I can be, I, I can operate in an optimal level. That's the thing. Everything I do has to be in an optimal level. Okay? Yes, sir. Mmm. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me answer this question, y'all. Ladies. What is... What is the reason why... It's probably people in general. What is the reason why... We settle for less. Why do we settle for less?
Are we afraid to moving on? Are you physically, mentally getting abused? Like, I just want to know. Are we just programmed? Hmm. Yo, this, these things are smacking, okay? Are we just programmed to see what we see in our, our family relationships and think that is okay? Um, I just want to know because I've been there. I'm not going to sit here and not say I'm, I haven't been there. I've been there and I can talk about my perspective in life um, and how I've been growing up from, from school and how guys treat women um, at a younger age and think that's cool and what we see and what we get programmed from like music videos and all that, all that good stuff, sorry. <clears throat> the reason why I'm saying that, why do we settle? It is okay to be alone. And the reason why I say that because the more you get a alone time by yourself and you learn, you actually really learn and take the time to really know about yourself, how you want to be pleased and how you want to be treated and how you find your integrity within yourself. It changed their it changed your perspective of you. That's one thing. It That will change your whole personality. How you want to be treated. How you want to be. How you want it to be. Look in your outcome. How you put the better healthy boundaries. Of what to take and what not to take. I went through a lot not having a father in my life seeing how how he's in and out with between women um, seeing how he gossip those things and bring people into your relationships and still be with the person. If you haven't seen my last video, and I always say, why do we talk bad about our partners and still be with them, right? That was one of the videos I, I talked about. I never understand that. Now that I have the time to really recall and now look in the present day of who I am today, I had to really <clears throat> diagnose the problem, knowing the fact I had to take accountability and be very authentic with myself and figure out I was the problem is because of this issue. Now to fix that issue so it don't bother you in the present moment. So once you find out you know certain things in life, you don't bring it back from your past to your present moment. Because now you're a better person. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up if somebody's treating you bad and 
they dogging you out physically, mentally, and draining your energy, the best thing you can do is really move away from that person. Get your head on right. Build your character. You know what type of person you want to be in life. But you had to take some time. Your calling is taking the time away from everybody and refine you within however months it needs to take or a year it needs to take. Because the more you level up, the more that the being, that entity that you're, what you are, that energy is going to magnify. It definitely will magnify and they will see it. Your frequency will be high, all time high. And you will know your boundaries. The message to that, why I'm saying this to you guys, is that it takes a real person, a real woman, a real man to let go something and not bother with anybody else. I didn't understand that in the beginning because I I I was going through this life cycle of doing the same stuff each and every day over and over and over again. Even when I started, when I came here, I thought the same process. And then really <clears throat> reality kicked in and I knowing that I don't have anybody that's here with me. My support is not here with me, you know what I'm saying? And we're, we're, we're on rocky terms. Obviously we're not on rocky terms now, but what I'm saying is during that time being, we were on rocky terms and I didn't want to be the same old version of myself. I had to look inward with myself and look in the mirror and talk to myself and say, why am I doing this? Figuring out the problem, why I was doing it and solving that. And it was more of me during the past, of me having all these masses and not being real with myself. Not talking, not understanding my emotions. Now that I'm tapping to my emotions and being vulnerable with my loved ones that I actually care about and they can see that side of me and be very authentic about that. They can see the passionate. They can see that I can be trustworthy and I can be honest because without no vulnerability and hiding your vulnerability, it's not the thing. There's nothing to be afraid about. I'll be afraid, not fear, but be afraid about. So, what I have to say to you guys is if somebody is treating you bad, you leave. Really diagnose yourself. Understand both ways. Their point of view, your point of view. And then look inward with yourself within those 30 to 90 days, maybe a year, and have all these recalls and make better choices. It's, it's okay to talk to somebody that really gonna support you, but not to bash the other person that really has your back and have you grounded and listen to your perspective and understand, okay, yeah, you did this, but what, what did you cause it to happen like this? Because it's both ways. You get what I mean? So, always remember that. Always look inward with yourself and make the best decision with yourself and always live your life to the fullest and never make nobody take your happiness away from you. Until next time, love.